I'm going to demonstrate the futility of the watch lying community. Um, I'm picking on Chelsea Bedell today. I could have picked on any of these guys because they all have the same issue. They all have the problem of continuing to emphatically declare that we are the last generation, that um, we will definitely see the rapture. Uh, none of us who are in this generation, whatever that means, uh, will die. We will all be uh, whisked into heaven um, forevermore. And there's no denying it, no denying it. It's absolutely true, um, except, you know, it hasn't happened yet despite our claims. And um, golly gee, I'm not sure really how to prove it to you, but I'm just going to ramble for a while here until I say something that maybe you guys will believe. Now, I, I am willing to bet that most of you aren't going to make it to the end of this little spiel, all right? Maybe we can make a game out of it. We really can trust the things that the Lord um, is speaking to us. And if he is showing us that we are in the season, then we are in the season. And I don't think that we need to get caught up in trying to figure out exactly what day um, that he's going to come. Uh, we just need to know that we are in the season and that it's, it is soon upon us. Like we are the generation. And I just wanted to, um, remind you guys of this because I, it was something I was thinking about over the weekend. You know, there has been a lot of mockers and scoffers and people that mean well and just genuinely like have this concern, right? Uh, a lot of people would say, well, you know, there's been many, many generations that have already passed now that thought that they were the generation that would see the rapture of the church. So how can you know? Like Jesus says, you would know, right? And he was speaking to a specific group of people who would see that day, who um, would not pass away until all these things were fulfilled, right? The rapture of the church, the tribulation, second coming, all these things. And so um, a lot of people would argue and they would say, well, how do we know that that group of people that the Lord is speaking to in the word is in fact us. And so the Lord reminded me of this, okay? He says that we are children of the light and that we would know. So how, how would we know? And when I think about that, um, not only can we, you know, see the things happening in the world, and that is something that people could argue. And, <laughs> and they would say, oh, well, you know, past generations from many, many moons ago, um, saw crazy things and they probably thought that Jesus is coming. But then the Lord reminded me of this. He said in his word that in the last days he would pour out his spirit, right? In the last days. Well, if we're in the last days and there is a generation that would see um, the rapture of the church that would get to experience that, right? And so, you know, he says in the last days that he would pour out his spirit and that we would dream dreams and prophesy and have visions. Um, and that we would know. And I never asked for that dream when I was a child. And to have seen something and to not know what it was at the time, to have never even just known at all, I just knew that Jesus was coming. Um, Jesus would not show you something if it wasn't so. He doesn't toggle with our emotions. Um, he is not reckless. Um, in that sense, we can trust that he, he cannot lie. And so if I was shown and many, many others, and this is, I'm, I'm just speaking from, you know, just personally, when I think about this, if I was, you know, given something from the Lord, not seeking it, not even knowing what it was at the time, if I was shown that I was going to be a part of this event, if I was shown that Jesus truly is coming and that he told me that that was a sign from him that it's almost time to go home and it wasn't quite then back then but to see all these things kind of unfolding now and for the lord to just be speaking to so many of us that it's time um the lord would not have shown us right the lord would not have shown me that that was something that i was going to be a part of if I wasn't going to be a part of it. And so we really are just living in a time in a generation, right? As the body of Christ where like it's us because he's showing us that it's us. He is now pouring his spirit out. Um, 
they probably, I, I can't say for sure, were they having, I just don't see the character and the goodness of God. I don't see how the Lord could show people from many, many generations ago. I don't see how he, you know, could just pour his spirit out and show them that they were going to be a part of the rapture if they weren't going to like that. That's just not who God is. He wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? And so we as a generation can say that it is us because so many of us, like whether we ask for it or not, he is pouring his spirit out and showing us like, it's y'all. <laughs> whether y'all want it to be or not, it is y'all. And really like, it's just the most amazing thing because Jesus would not show us these things if it was not us. Um, I just know that that's not a God that we serve. I can trust that he showed this to me and that I, you know, I was going to be a part of it. Um, I can trust that like, he's going to follow through on that and I don't have to worry about that. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there and just, the, I just, God is so amazing. And I haven't been seeking out feast days and seasons and just, oh, okay. So if you made it that far, congratulations. Um, here it is in a nutshell though. We are the last generation, according to Chelsea. Uh, we will see the rapture. How do we know this? Because God is telling us. And how do we know that God is telling us? Because I said so. That's why. 